hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to customize your own tea bags this video is a collaboration with tj's magic touch i will leave her link down below she will be creating these using publisher and i'll be creating them using microsoft word we do have two separate tutorials where she is doing them in photoshop and i am using silhouette studio okay for your materials you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut out your design a paper crimper this is optional if you do want to crimp the sides of your tea you're going to need tea of your choice i recently just got these teas just for tutorial purposes only we don't even drink tea in the house a measuring tape to measure your tea paper of choice um cardstock this one is a hundred pound cardstock you can even use 65 pound cardstock but it's just plain white cardstock or you can get glossy paper and this is the brand that i like to use i got it from office depot and it's gloss any paper that you get has to be compatible with your printer either inkjet or laser and i do have an inkjet printer if you have a printer you need your printer or you could print somewhere else and this is optional as well this is a trimmer and scoreboard from we are memory keepers this is optional as well but you really don't need this or that and i'll show you different options and adhesive of choice either glue or double-sided tape in your software okay so any item that you want to design you need a measuring tape to measure the width and the height and you're going to enter those measurements into the software that you are going to be using now i always say add more so you can have some wiggle room so you know that you need to cover the front and the back so you're going to double the width times two if that makes any sense because you need to wrap around okay and then you're also going to measure your tab now if you own a scoreboard and trim board or a regular scoreboard you can just measure up here too and convert your um inches into decimals if you don't know how to do that just do a quick google search on basically like what is um one half in your decimals what is three four what is seven eight and you're going to enter those measurements into your software okay so that's all you're basically going to do so let's start designing open up your software if you watch my prior videos i like to work in a different mode when i'm working in microsoft word so the way that i will switch that is i will go to file i will go to save as and where it says word i will click on word 97 2003 document and then i will name my file and then i will click on save then you are going to start creating your template and the measurements that i'll be giving you is depending on is according to the tea bags that i have now if these measurements don't fit you then you're going to have to tweak your measurements so i'm going to go to insert insert i'm going to go to shapes i'm going to click on the rectangle i'm going to make any size rectangle on my screen down here you have the option to zoom in so i'm actually going to zoom in so you can see what i'm doing I am going to color my rectangle black so you're able to see it. And then while it's selected and I'm in shape format, I'm going to go to height and I'm going to type 3.25 and enter. And my width, I'm going to type 5.5 and enter. And that is my rectangle. I'm going to click somewhere else on my screen so I can unselect it. I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to click on the shape that is called a, let me see, a trapezoid, a trapezoid, I'm sorry, a trapezoid. Then I'm going to make any size shape on my screen. I'm going to color it so you're able to see it. I have my shape selected. I'm going to hold down my shift key and on that green button, I'm going to turn it all around. While it's selected and I'm in shape format, I'm going to go to height and I'm going to type 0 0.75 and enter. And on my width, I'm going to type 2.75 and enter. And then I'm going to line it up right on the top. You can use your arrow keys on your keyboard to help you line it up correctly. I want to remove the black outline, so I'm going to click on my top shape. I'm going to hold my shift key and also click on my rectangle. On my shape format, I'm going to go to shape outline. 
more outline colors and I'm gonna put it transparent my outline color and click on OK and now you see that my outline was removed and my shapes are actually not touching so I'm gonna bring it down with my arrow keys Now to save your backgrounds, you're going to go to Google, you're going to go to Microsoft Bing, you're going to go to Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, Etsy, wherever you want to get your backgrounds from. I went to Microsoft Bing and I looked up Sunflower Backgrounds. I clicked on the one that I like, then I'm going to right click and save the image to my computer. Once it's saved, I went into Microsoft Word. I'm going to click on my top shape, hold my shift key, click the bottom shape. And I'm going to go to Shape Format, Shape Fill, Picture, from a file. And I'm going to look for the background that I um, saved. And then you're going to click on Open. And it's going to fill it up for you. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. As you can see, this is how everything's looking. Now, if you don't know exactly where your half mark is, you can go to insert, go to shapes, get a rectangle, make any size rectangle on your screen, and then you know that half of 5.5 is 2.75. So while your rectangle is selected, go to your height and type 3.25 and enter. And on your width, you're going to type 2.75 and enter. I'm going to color it a different color so y'all can see it. And then I'm going to place this rectangle right here. And this is just a reference mark that I know that everything I add here on my left is going to be the front and everything I add on my right is going to be the back. All right. To insert your images, um, you need to first look up PNG images. Those are transparent background images. So when you click on the transparent background image on Google, you'll see gray and white rectangles behind it. But I purchased my clip art from designbundles.net. I am affiliated with this company, so just check down below for my affiliate link. Thank you so much for those that are purchasing with my affiliate link. We do get a small commission. So I ordered, um, I purchased these clip arts, and once you download them, you save them to your computer. Once they are saved, I am going to go back to Microsoft Word. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to Picture, and then I'm going to insert the image. While your image is selected, make sure you're on your picture format wrap text in front of text and then size the image however you will like it now I want to create a shape uh, behind her so you don't have to do this, but I will be showing you how I'm going to create it. I'm going to zoom in so you can see everything. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to click on the oval shape. I'm going to make any size oval on my screen. And I'm definitely going to give you the measurements that I use. So for my oval, it's selected. I'm on my shape format. On my width, I'm going to type 2.5. 163 and enter and then on my height I'm going to type 1.092 and enter I'm gonna color it so you are able to see it and then I'm going to unselect it go to my insert go to my shapes I'm gonna click on the uh, rounded rectangle I'm gonna make any size shape on my screen while it's selected and I'm on my shape format, I'm going to go to height and I'm going to type 0 0.724 and enter. And then on my, on my width, I'm going to type 2.275 and enter. 
then I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on the oval, click on the oval rectangle where it says align. I'm going to click on to middle and then align to center. So it's looking like this. Now I am, they're both selected. I'm going to go where it says shape outline, more outline color, make the outline transparent, click on OK. I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to choose a color of my choice. Then they're both still selected. I'm going to right click and I am going to group these two together. As you can see, they're going to move together. So now while it's grouped, I'm going to right click, copy, right click, and paste. You duplicate it. You're going to right here on this circle, you're just going to make it a little bit smaller by dragging it up. I'm going to color it white. I'm going to hold my shift key and select both shapes. I'm going to go to align and center and align to middle. So both shapes are centered. I'm going to click here on my screen. I'm going to, to unselect it. I'm going to click on the white shape. I'm going to right click, copy, right click and paste and go to shape format and I'm going to color this one and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller holding my shift key and I'm going to go again to align and center them right click and group it As you can see, everything is grouped together, so you created a shape. I'm going to click on the girl. I'm going to go to picture format. I'm going to go to bring forward and bring to front. Make sure whatever you design that it's not right at the corners of your rectangles because this is where you're going to be folding and gluing and if you're going to be crimping as well. I'm going to unselect everything by clicking somewhere else on my screen. Now I want to start typing. So the way that you will type is you will go to insert. You will go to the A on your word art. Click on word art. I do have a separate video on how to download free fonts from thefont.com. Check down below. And you can also order fonts from Creative Fabrica. And I also have my affiliate link down below. So you're going to select the fonts that you would like to use. You're going to click on OK. You're going to go to uh, Wrap Text in front of Text. You're going to go to Shape Fill. Click on the color that you would like. Go to Shape Outline, more outline color. And if you want an outline color or not, I don't want no outline color. Click on OK and then you're going to place your words wherever you would like.
so right here what you see me doing is I changed my outline color of my words to orange then I went to shape outline weight and I'm just bringing up the weight of my outline to go up so it could be thicker and you're going to decide the weight of your outline of your choice that's too much Because you have a tab up here, you don't want your tab covering your words. Remember, your tab is 0.75 in height, so you're going to go to insert, you're going to get shapes, you're going to get a rectangle, you're going to make any size rectangle on your screen. You're going to go to your height and you're going to type 0.75 and enter. I'm going to color it black so you're able to see it. And I'm going to put it right here on the top because this is where my tab is going to be overlapping I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit all right I'm gonna click on that rectangle click delete on my keyboard click on this rectangle and click on delete on my keyboard now here on your tab you can also type something so you go to insert you go to word art and you type whatever you would like to say I'm going to rotate these words upside down so anything you put on your tab has to be upside down. Once you are satisfied on how everything looks, you need to hold click on something, hold your shift key and click on every single thing that you have added on your design. So do not forget to click on everything. You're going to right click and group everything together. Once you have everything grouped, you're going to add as many as it fits on your screen, on your piece of paper. And I'm just zooming out. So I'm going to right click, copy, right click, and paste. So this is on portrait mode. If you go to landscape mode, you could only still fit two of them. So it doesn't matter which mode you want to print on. I'm going to leave it on portrait. All right. From here, you are ready to print. So you're going to go to File. You're going to go to Print. You're going to go where it says Printer Properties. You're going to select the printer that you have. I like to print from the back, so I'm going to click on Paper Tray. Document size 8 by 11. My paper type, I always like to print our presentation paper mat. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now, if you don't have a printer at home, you need to save this as a PDF file. And then you're going to email the company wherever you're printing at your PDF file. Also, if you are selling this file, you need to send the customer the PDF file because you don't want the font, you don't want the images, or you don't want the size to change. I also recommend on saving it using Microsoft, um, a Microsoft Word document. So anytime you have to make any changes, all you will do is open up the Microsoft Word document and make the changes that you have to make. All right, so I'm going to start printing and then we're going to cut it out. First thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it around and you're going to fold it right in half. Make sure you line everything correctly and fold it in half. Now 
once you have folded in half you're gonna grab a bone folder if you don't have a bone folder you can even use the tip of a pencil like a mechanical pencil push the lid in you can even use the tip of a mechanical pencil and go right here or anything in general even you could just fold but i like to use something so it helps me so right here i am going to score it basically that's what you're doing you're just scoring it so it's much easier for you to fold all right again this is called a bone folder this came with my paper trimmer and scoreboard but if you go on amazon there's different kind of bone folders once you score you're going to see a line right there that's where you need to fold can you see it Okay, now you're going to grab your double-sided tape or glue, and you're only going to put glue coming here and here, a little bit, not that much, and just right at the edge or your double-sided tape. If you're looking for some good tape, I do like this tape. You can find it on Amazon or on Walmart as well. I really like this one. Um, TJ Magic's Touch also uses this tape, and that's how I learn about it, so it is very good tape. But today I'll be using my own brand glue, AK Craft Glue. You can find it on my website. Right now we're out of stock, but we will be stocking soon. So you're just going to put a small dab here and there. So you see the glue. And then you're just going to fold down and glue everything together. Once you glue all your sides, both of your sides, if you have any white showing, go ahead and trim that. You always want to go for a very professional look on everything that you offer. So just go and take your time and trim that little bit of white off. Okay, so this is how they're looking. Now the next steps are again are very optional. You don't have to do that, but I will be doing it. This is where my trimmer is going to come in. So I'm going to place my design here right at the edge and i'm going to score at one fourth and then on the other side as well as you can see you can see that score mark right at the edge again that is optional that's just being a little bit of extra but i do like that look now you also could go ahead and um, crimp the sides as well if you have a crimper. So this is the look it will give you once you crimp it. Now all you have to do is insert your teeth. Now I'm just going to put a small dab of glue there and close it up. You don't have to glue the entire thing, just a small glue. Okay. 
all right guys we're all done so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please comment down below if you have any questions also feel free to comment down below if you're not in my facebook crafting group it is called andrina's creations crafting lounge feel free to go ahead and join over there and show me everything that you are creating it doesn't even only have to be about my tutorials it could be any anything that you would like to show us over there also if you don't follow me on facebook and instagram it is andrina's creations llc Go ahead and follow me and if you would like to order anything from me that's where you're going to message me on facebook or instagram but if you don't have no social media feel free to email me at andrina's creations at yahoo.com if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified every time i upload we on the road to 50k again thank you so much for everyone that has been subscribing i really really appreciate it and of course i hope everyone has a blessed day